Hey, good morning guys. Touch coming at you. Saturday, July the 22nd, just after 8.20 in the morning. Another crappy day outside today. Overcast, supposed to rain. Nothing new, it's a weekend. So we are at, where are we? 22nd. T minus 57 on the calendar. Haven't been out for the last uh, few nights. Busy week at work, and I've been a little bit under the weather, and uh, just thought I'd take a little bit of a break from the car. <clears throat> but we're back out here this morning, and we're back working on this uh, driver's side fender, front fender. And I think what we want to do today, let me just sneak around here, not very graciously. I think what we want to do is uh, we start working on repairing this. Uh, a post mount let's call it that's uh, pretty severely rusted and all of the nuts are basically compromised so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start working by cleaning up this little area back here and putting a new patch in here and then what I think I'll do is I'll just sort of slice this just below this uh, line here this rust line where we can get to uh, clean fresh metal and uh, we'll put a new piece in there and weld some new nuts on the back uh, which are these holes here on the A post that hold the fender tight to the A post so uh, I think that's what we'll do today I did get some bad news this week about uh, my patch panels so I'd ordered patch panels for the bottom here and patch panels actually I had coming for the rear fenders uh, just the fronts of the rear fenders but uh, those have been back ordered so uh, they're not supposed to arrive till mid-August to late August so we're gonna be waiting on those but we'll um, go as far as we can on these fenders um, we do need some work on the front flange as well so we'll probably end up cleaning that up next I got some uh, breaks in the metal here and uh, some holes that are broken out so we'll probably fix this front flange up other than that other than the dents it doesn't look too bad obviously I need to uh, probably get some rust removed here. I'm not sure if I'm going to take this one up to the blaster as well. Um, get this one soda blasted. I'm not going to get it sandblasted. Uh, or maybe walnut shells, something like that. But we want to get the uh, rest of this rust out of here. I may actually just take my little spot blaster to it. I can probably do it at the side of the house. Maybe put a tarp down and reclaim some of the media. Uh, I've got some glass beads that I could use for this. So we may just do that instead. But anyway, uh, first thing, like we said, we need to do is to uh, fix this flange up. So we're going to do that. All right, guys, we'll come back. We're going to we'll be out here till about uh, noon today, as we've got to make a trip to our mailbox. We've got uh, seven boxes to pick up at our pick up at our mailbox. So we want to go and do that today, and then maybe later today in a separate video, I'll do a unboxing of everything that I've received for this uh, project. All right, guys, we'll come back. Well, I'm not sure the neighbors appreciate me uh, getting the uh, cutting disc out at 8.30 in the morning on a Saturday, but uh, I don't do it very often, so uh, hopefully nobody's going to scream at me. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> I did notice on the other side that there's actually a small hole here on the outer panel. So I think what I'm going to do is, now that I've got this piece cut out, I'm going to uh, probably break out the sandblaster and just give this a quick sandblast under here while I can. And then we'll probably flip this uh, fender over and we'll repair this little uh, front side patch first. And then we'll come back and we'll make this new uh, flange piece. All right, guys, we have the inside of that fender sandblasted in that area that I was pointing out earlier. I'll show it to you when I flip the fender back over and start repairing that other side. But here's the front side and you can see that pinhole. And it's a little bit bigger than a pinhole, but uh, that's the area where I'm gonna cut out. Now I gotta be careful because there's a little bit of structure behind there that I don't want to uh, cut into. So I'm going to get my small Dremel out with a, um, a cutting disc on it and we're just going to carefully cut that little area out and make a little patch for it. Alright guys, we've got the little uh, patch cut out and you can see it just here. You can, you can see the structure that I was talking about behind it. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the, the blaster out again. We're just going to give that a quick blast. Then we'll give it a, a quick coat of uh, zinc primer and then we'll uh, uh, clean up this area around the patch, create the new patch, weld it in. Alright guys, we've got the patch area all cleaned up and ready for that patch to go in. We've got the uh, patch zinc primed on the back. We've got the uh, area below it and that flange all zinc primed as well. 
So we've got the welder all uh, warmed up and ready to go. So we're just going to uh, weld that in as best we can. All right, guys, we've got that uh, little patch in there successfully and ground down. So that's looking a little bit better. No more holes, which is good. So uh, what we're going to do is flip the fender back over and we'll start working on that flange piece. So there's that patch from the back side and I decided to uh, go back and I had to weld a little section here which is where I sort of cut through this flange piece from the other side. Um, but I also threw a bit more weld on the inside of this patch. There are a few areas that uh, I didn't have very good penetration from the other side so we just went and cleaned up this edge a little bit. I'm not going to go crazy with the grinder but uh, there it is. There's the uh, new patch in there. So we're going to concentrate on this area now. Uh, just got to find that patch that I took out, wherever it is, make a new one and weld it in there. Alright guys, here's the uh, repair section we made for this area. With something like that. I know it's hard to see, but it's going to fit in there like that. We again zinc prime the back side of it because we're not going to have access later on. So we're going to throw another coat of primer on there and then we're going to get uh, ready to weld this in. Alright guys, there's that uh, patch welded in. Um, obviously not ground down, so we'll do that next. And then we'll figure out what we want to do for the rest of this flange piece. We're just cleaning up a little bit of metal here. It's fairly solid, I think, up to about this area. So I haven't decided whether I want to just cut down and out these slots because the metal in between is not too bad. Anyway, we'll clean it up a little bit and see what kind of metal we have to, uh, to weld to. And then we'll make a decision whether we want to cut this at the bottom all the way along or whether we would just want to cut those little squares out and replace those nuts. Alright guys, we'll come back. Alright guys, so there's your answer. We went ahead and cut that whole piece out. Just got it over here. So we'll make a new piece to go back in there. We'll uh, refit the fender before we weld the, uh, the nuts back on the back to make sure we've got them in the right spot. So that's the plan. So again, we'll make a template, cut some new metal, and we'll weld her in. We'll be back. Hey, good afternoon, guys. Tush coming at you. Monday, July the 24th, just coming up to uh, 5.30. Not feeling 100%. Had a bit of a, I think, a bout of food poisoning over the weekend. And we're just in recovery mode. Anyway, a calendar shows us that we're at uh, T minus 55. Not that that matters. But anyway, uh, where did we leave off? We left off making this fender patch over here. If you recall, we cut out this big piece. It actually looks more something like that. So at least we're going to attempt to uh, make a little bit of progress tonight and we're going to recreate this piece of metal in fresh metal and uh, I hope to get it welded in tonight uh, maybe we'll actually locate the holes and weld the nuts on tomorrow so we're gonna take baby steps and just replace the metal first and worry about the uh, the holes and nuts at a later date when I feel a little bit better when I feel like actually locating the fender and holding it up and making sure the holes are in the right place before I drill them. I don't think I have the patience for that tonight, but I think I have the patience at least to make that patch. So we're going to give it a shot. Better than sitting on the couch. Anyway, we've got a crappy rainy day again and it's cold out here. It's only about 20 degrees Celsius, so it's about 70 Fahrenheit. So for the middle of the summer, that's pretty darn cold. I'm sure I've seen enough rain. Anyway, we're going to get busy. Getting the compressor charged up. I'm going to grind down the uh, back face of this patch area. Get that nice and clean. I believe we already did the front. Yeah, the front's looking good. Anyway, we'll go ahead and we'll make that patch. Enough yammering. Alright guys, we're making progress. We've got that patch uh, welded in and I did go ahead and locate those holes and uh, drilled them out. So, here's what it looks like from the uh, front side. So it's looking better. So we're going to see if we can find some nuts to weld on the back and finish this project up so we don't have to come back to it. So there you go. So let me see if I can find some nuts to finish this off. All right guys, the, uh, the welder didn't want to cooperate and uh, he decided to run out of gas, but I managed to get a few tacks on there anyway. So we've uh, got the nuts just tacked on there. We'll come back and we'll weld them solid once I change the tank out on the welder. I just don't feel like doing it right now. I do have the uh, 
the little spare tank over there that's full, so that's a good thing. But uh, that's it for tonight, guys. We'll uh, go in and sit back down on the couch, have something to drink, and maybe try to choke some food down. Anyway, that's it for tonight, guys. We'll upload this so you can see where I'm at, and uh, we'll hopefully get back out here tomorrow after work. Have a good night.